Now to the coronavirus pandemic. The Washington National Cathedral told its funeral bells 900 times Monday for the 900,000 Americans who've died of COVID-19. According to Johns Hopkins University, the U.S. is now averaging nearly 2,500 new COVID-related deaths a day, a 3% increase from last week. And although new infections are on the decline, Florida's numbers are still holding steady, rarely seeing under 15,000 cases a day since mid-December. But there's some good news. CBS 4's Brooke Schaefer is live at Jackson Memorial Hospital with more. Brooke, good morning. Maribel, good morning. Some good news, as you said, and some hope on the horizon as far as COVID case numbers are concerned. But experts say we are not out of the woods just yet. In Miami-Dade County, some much-needed good news about COVID. Mayor Daniela Levine Cava tweeting out these encouraging statistics, saying the seven-day positivity rate is down to 15 percent. 134 patients with COVID remain in the ICU. Close to 15,000 tests were given on Sunday. A noticeably less alarming tone than what the mayor had to say during the height of the Omicron wave. We have seen this Omicron variant rapidly spreading like wildfire. The CDC also weighing in, saying COVID-related hospitalizations nationwide are down 15 percent from a week ago, with new infections plummeting too. But some experts warn we're not out of the woods just yet. We're a good part of the way through this Omicron wave. We're not close to the end right now. The former FDA commissioner pointing to daily deaths jumping about 30 percent across the United States in just the last two weeks because of the Omicron variant. We have seen throughout the pandemic, the majority of people who are going into hospitals with COVID-19 are unvaccinated. I'm live in Miami, Brooke Schaefer, CBS4, this morning.